Moin, I'm Catherine. My stomach is making weird noises, but anyway, <laughs> I'm in bed with like a Hello, everybody. And we're at the Reaperman Festival. Mm -hmm. And the only question that makes sense to ask if we're at the Reaperman Festival is, what happened last night? Oh, wow. I went dancing and yeah. it was so wonderful. But yeah. Do you remember that? Yes. Do you remember where? You're like, no, maybe no, you know? you're not you don't tell me. I no, do, you don't no, have to I know the names of the places. I don't know the names of the places. Yeah. There was this one place that was like this big venue. Starts with an M and it was all of these crazy rooms and I ended up downstairs but needed a cigarette, Mondi. so I ended up Yes. Maybe? Maybe. No, yeah. no something. I don't know. Anyway, it was really fun. I had the best time. I drank some tequila cool. and danced to some Spice Girls, which yeah, is unreal. Maybe it's not more. I don't know. But Who knows? Wherever you had fun, it was so much fun. Yeah, great. It was good. And you played your first Reaper Band Festival gig yesterday. Yeah, we played two. It was unbelievable. Yeah, so fun. The last one was probably my favorite gig we've ever played. It's I such a nice. It was the Prince and Bar with the yes. with the stuck out of the and all of the yeah. little like cherubs all around. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's I love that venue. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Where are you good. going to sleep tonight? I'm going to sleep in Berlin and in the car on the way to Berlin. <laughs> oh, you see, you're driving after you're yeah, driving to we're Berlin leaving, after the, Oh my we're god. leaving Hamburg at midnight to, oh drive, to Berlin. to drive to Berlin. <laughs> yeah, in the middle so of the night. I'm sleeping in two places tonight. I'm sleeping in the car and then I'm sleeping at um, Berlin. Somewhere in Berlin. Yeah, somewhere in Berlin. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That'll mm. be great. Okay. Yeah, really nice. Maybe I won't sleep because it's Berlin. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> socks or no socks in bed? Socks. All yeah, the time. I love yeah. Socks. You like socks? Yeah, I just get so. Sometimes I just get so freaked out by my own feet. I think I don't get freaked out by other people's feet, but I think that my own feet make me so nervous. So okay. I wear socks. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I've never had that before. Yeah, I don't know. Why? Was the thing? I guess your manager, Sarah, who chose the yes. questions, yes. knows why she chose that question. She was trying to call me out for my <laughs> foot phobia. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think she meant it in a very loving way. Probably. True. Yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. What's your essential luxury sleeping item? Like something that you would take on tour with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My Femme Fun vibrator. <laughs> we were this talking about this before the interview. I love so, yeah. it. I mean, you gotta pleasure yourself. You gotta be your best lover, in my opinion. So, yeah. I am my best lover. You're wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on tour. No, truly. Yes. You just gotta take care of yourself. You gotta yep. get there. Yep. Otherwise, the mood is dropping. You know? I know. You gotta take care of yourself. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Which books lie in or beside your bed? Ooh. Um, right now, this is a depressing thing, but The Bell Jar by Sylvia oh, Plath yeah? is beside my bed. I swear I'm fine, though. It's just there. <laughs> it's just um, and then I mean, not everybody who reads The Bell Jar has to kill themselves. Yeah, so that's true. Okay. I think yeah. I'll be fine. But, yeah. um, and then I have a book of poems by Ruby Carr that I really okay. like. Um, the Sun and Her like Flowers. Yeah. yeah, she's incredible. I like poetry by my bed because I feel like that's just the easiest thing to kind of like push you into sleep. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell people? This is a very complicated question. We usually ask this at the Elbridge at the Korea Festival. So beware the context. Yes, I love that. What do you want to tell people who think they have the right to judge who you share your bed with? Oh, what do I want to tell them? I don't know. I just think that, oh gosh, I just, that's mind blowing to me that anybody would like categorize love separately out like you know i just yeah. think everybody needs to like experience all the things they need to experience and i think people who try and keep people from those experiences more or less are just keeping themselves from a thing that they actually feel and they're like projecting it onto other people yeah. so i think i would honestly say something like who do you love that you're scared of loving because like you should love them and i should love who i want to love oh, too yeah that's that's <laughs> the most know. amazing answer yeah thank I, you yeah of course yeah. thanks for asking thanks for picking that <laughs> question there <Sarah>, margaret <laughs> <laughs> if an album a musical okay. album could become a person which album would you like to have sex with oh my gosh all right, this could go so many ways. It just depends on the kind of sex I want to have that day. But I'm thinking right now... Damn. I mean, sometimes I can be like a Bonnie Bear. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. sentimental mm -hmm. sex. Mm -hmm. But then also, the new Ariana Grande record, 
fucks me up. It's yeah. so good. Like, Get I think it. that okay. would just make me feel, like, on top of the world. So, I don't know. Maybe that right now. Yeah. Who knows? That's good. I have to listen to that. Yes. Yeah. That is the best question I've ever been asked. Thank you. Wow. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> what happens to you on a full moon? I go crazy. <laughs> I yeah. do. I love it. It's like, I feel like my energetic levels and, like, everything is just completely lit up like I feel very sensitive to like every possible emotion that one could feel and then I have no clue how to handle it so I'm just like jumping off the walls and we just established that you're going to be in Berlin for the next full moon moon. it's a good city to go crazy and And it's a full moon in Aries so it's gonna be fire wonderful can't wait (laughs) if this was your last night on earth okay what would you do Ooh, if I knew that I wouldn't get a tummy ache, I would eat these nachos that I'm allergic to. And I would eat Because ten. you can go like... Yes, so because if, it, if it's the last night on earth, I would eat like 10 trays of these nachos and like drink a lot of tequila and hopefully be surrounded by all my favorite people. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that's probably that it. Like now I'm just like thinking about the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, truly I can taste every taste in my mouth. Oh, unreal. Aww. If you did not need any sleep, what would you do with the extra time? I would write so yeah. much more. And I would probably also just take care of myself a little more. Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing that always gets like put on the back yeah. burner. Like, oh, I should what sleep. You yeah. yeah. I wish I didn't have to sleep, but I also love sleep. So Me too. I would probably still sleep even if I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best place you ever slept at? know I've taken a lot of good naps on the beach you know whenever yeah. it's just like the sand's really hot and you have your face on the towel and it's like you hear all of the voices around you that are like kind of muffled because your face is on the ground that's good sleep that's good sleep but it's a more like nap but I don't yeah know. Hmm. I like that good. it's a good it's a good thing back to the nachos what's your favorite midnight snack before midnight uh, midnight snack before midnight midnight snack I love before, before midnight, midnight snack before bed oh I really this is so weird, but I really like drinking kombucha, like, really late at night. Seriously? Which is Doesn't gross. that wake you up more? I don't know. Mm. I, I don't know what wakes me up anymore, but I like kombucha. <laughs> and I also really like chips and guacamole. Or sometimes mm. when I'm really feeling myself, I'll make myself a full breakfast. <laughs> Before? Yeah. yeah. Like, avocado toast and bacon and, like, sweet potato hash browns. Unreal. I love breakfast, though. I could eat it at any point. Me too. I, th- I think breakfast isn't limited to the specific time in the no. day. No. Breakfast is just the meal of yeah. humanity, I think. Excellent. Yeah. And I love I love restaurants that have, like, all-day breakfast. They're the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's incredible. That's yeah. the only thing I like. Yeah. Um, what's your poison for handling sleep deprivation or jet lag? Because you're still a tiny bit. When did you arrive? We... Well, I arrived, like, two weeks ago. But oh, the, the rest of the day... I'm great now, but, like... I think but Sarah is still Sarah feeling, it. feeling it. But I think, um, I don't know, I I always just try and push through like that first day mm-hmm. and then just like walk a lot and yeah. just totally like ground myself to the place that I'm in. And, and then fall asleep yeah, at the time that would be the proper, yeah. yeah. but then I always, it's always like the third day that I'll just yeah. take a five hour nap in the middle of the day and then wake up the next day at like 4 p.m. and be like, okay, I didn't really beat it. So I don't know. Yeah. Just like. Trying to walk as much as I can. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Last question. Okay. That Sarah did not choose, that she doesn't Ooh. know about. A so surprise. she's very excited. I cannot wait. What is the Which monster sleeps under your bed? Wow. Is this supposed to be funny or like emotional? You, you can like, seriously. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, yeah, exactly. my like past self. It's, it's, it's a character <laughs> test. It's a character test I about think... which way you're going. But you can go either way. Oh god. You can, you can give me two answers. I used to always like the idea of, like, a very furry creature with, like, two very huge eyes sleeping under my bed, and he would kind of scare everyone else, but not me. So that's what I... That's fantastic. That's the first time I've heard that. That's what I kind of love to think, but if I'm being real, like, all of my insecurities and depression and anxieties and all of that is just like, ah! Yeah. But I like that little furry guy better, so probably him. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody said that before. And we've, we've been asking this question for really? a long time. Wow. Well, that's great. A monster that scares everyone else but you. But me. Which is probably just like me. <laughs> 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 you 
you're not scared. I mean, that's just like me. You, you, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a good question. Thank Ooh. you so much. Thank, Thank you so much you. for coming over. Yes. And let's say bye to the internet. Bye, internet. What? Be safe out there. Yes. <laughs> Where's the obvious light? Cause I'm tired and you're 